Hi Paul, thanks for your time. How does it feel to have an event in your own region with you coming from the southern tip of Africa? Well, it's good to be uh, back on the uh, Greenwich Mean time zone. <laughs> uh, Europe is, uh, and Middle East and Africa is obviously a, a growing region for us. Uh, as I like to say, uh, unfortunately, we're very much an Anglo-Saxon company in the sense that uh, if you take most of our sales, they come from North America, United Kingdom, and Australia. And uh, we can do a lot more in the non-English speaking parts of the world. So that's one of our actual focuses right now is to grow uh, into these areas uh, where we have a lot of opportunity. So it's good to be here. In your opening keynote, you mentioned vCloud. So how does it feel, all the momentum building around a vCloud initiative and all those partners doing live demonstrations at our show? Well, one of the great things about uh, VMware and our technology is uh, by a lot of hard work by ourselves and a lot of other folks, we really have become a common platform for the industry. And uh, it's fascinating to see all the interesting thing, things that people are doing on, around, above, below this platform. And uh, when you look forward to what we can do, we've only really just scratched the surface. And uh, here at the conference, we're talking about our vSphere generation, which is our next generation of products that will start rolling out this year. And they really take this platform uh, concept to a new level. And uh, we know that we can use this technology to really allow IT to function in a much more efficient and flexible way, really have IT become more of a service whether that be done inside uh, the organization in an internal cloud or done through service providers uh, in an external cloud. And one of the great things that uh, we've been able to show here is the interesting work that we're doing with service providers, taking the same infrastructure that we're providing for the enterprise and they're now implementing it in their clouds. And we think this is gonna give people a tremendous amount of flexibility going forward. We're also obviously working together with a lot of security partners now. So how does it feel to have our own vShield uh, product? One of the things that uh, we've come to realize about virtualization is it's this incredibly flexible and extensible technology. And not only does it uh, give us the means to construct this layer of software that will allow people to aggregate and more efficiently use underlying resources that achieve this concept of a single giant computer, uh, but that substrate of software, that layer of software, really is the natural point of insertion for modules that will do security and compliance functions uh, because we are the aggregating and mediating layer between the infrastructure and the application. So it's natural to put security and compliance modules in at that level. So we've been working with the industry to provide a series of hooks or interfaces to allow people to incorporate specialized security and compliance modules into the virtualization layer. Uh, and uh, we have these uh, vSafe APIs that uh, security vendors have been using for different functions. Uh, and we have several of those already on the market uh, today. And uh, in fact, at the conference here today, we announced our first such module uh, with the vShield v module that basically provides basic uh, firewall software firewall functions for traffic that flows within uh, the virtualization layer. Are you excited about the new cooperation we have with many partners, including Cisco? It's a, it's a tremendous endorsement to have a company uh, of Cisco's caliber uh, building modules explicitly uh, for our layer of software. Uh, so the uh, Nexus 1000V, which is their first soft switch, uh, which uh, they have explicitly designed to fit into the VMware virtualization layer, that VDC OS or virtual data center operating system that we're building, which we're calling vSphere. Uh, so they will have the soft switch that will fit in there and provide switching functions again for traffic within the data center that's being mediated by our uh, uh, layer of software. How important is it that VMworld is really an industry event and not just a VMware event? Well, we believe uh, virtualization is really the foundation for some very interesting and ambitious things could be, that can be done in the future. Uh, we sincerely believe that uh, when you take into account that most companies can't rewrite their existing applications, that they're going to have to find some way of packaging up those applications and moving them into the future, that the only way that can be done is through virtualization. So it's very important to provide a forum for the industry uh, where we can discuss these issues and really see how to move forward. And uh, so we see this as an essential function of VMworld is to provide that forum for the industry to come together 
uh, and discuss these issues. And then, of course, the, uh, the, the VMware software itself has become a platform. So this is also a forum for our partners to come together, uh, understand what's going on, and understand how they can build products uh, that will further augment uh, this ecosystem that we've been able to achieve. You also mentioned that you were going to adhere to open standards. Right. Uh, you know, we, we believe, particularly when it comes to cloud computing, that uh, you know, this could evolve in one of two ways. It could go to a world where there's just a few very proprietary Uber clouds in the world, <laughs> and people have to you know, basically use those clouds, and you can uh, never get your applications out of those clouds. We don't think that's the right thing to happen. Uh, we instead believe that cloud computing should happen through a ecosystem of compatible service providers, each of which specialize, but at the fund, uh, fundamental level are adhering to standards and are compatible. So we intend to play our role working with the standards providers to make sure that uh, we see this open, compatible ecosystem of clouds emerge. So it's all about improving customer benefits. Absolutely, customers get flexibility, as I said. We, we think the decision as to whether to use cloud computing uh, should be an operational decision, not a fundamental rewrite your applications kind of a decision. You need to have the flexibility to know that you can run those applications inside your data center, move them to an external data center, move them back, move them to another external data center.